Hello, every pony! It has been quite a while since I've used that particular introduction, but I thought today we'd sort of take a different tack and that I'd kind of go back to my roots as a content creator. Some of you may or may not know that I actually started this channel reviewing my custom My Little Pony plushies, and although I don't actively collect um, MLP plushies anymore, they still have a very important part in my collection and are just really works of art in and of themselves, so they really deserved to be um, appreciated and noticed and given the attention that, that they deserve. So today I wanted to show you my totally new and fresh take on Coloratura, which I hope I'm saying right. It's kind of a difficult name to pronounce, but um, um, so this is a pony that was featured in one of the episodes of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. But if you've seen uh, the, the character in the episode, she has quite a different look from what you see here today. She has um, typically a very, very long mane and tail and sort of a veil that goes over the front of her face. But I decided to give her sort of, sort of a more edgy and punk rock look. And actually this mane was inspired by uh, another episode of My Little Pony, which features Rarity having a really bad hair day or a bad mane day, I guess I should say. And she sort of reinvents herself, turns a positive into a negative, and creates this totally new and rocking look. So that's what I decided to go with for Coloratura. So let me just show you some of her details. Now, I think Coloratura here is probably the most detailed as far as accessories go. I mean, just the amount of time and effort that must, that must have gone into just creating between the jacket, the bracelets, the bands, the necklaces, it's just absolutely astounding to me. So uh, Coloratra has this sort of magenta overcoat with um, these sort of metal rivets here that are pointy or spiked, but um, they are blunted at the end, so they're not, you know, you're not going to hurt your fingers on them or anything. Um, and then she has a little purple undershirt here, and she has this black collar that's made from minky fabric. And you can see there, there are several blue rhinestones sewn into that. And then she's got two different necklaces with two different styles of beads on each strand. And here she has the armbands, which also have those same spiked metal rivets around the circumference. And then you see these crisscrossing beads in alternating blues. So very, very detailed accessories. And actually, even on her tail here, there's a little band that sort of matches the uh, the armbands that she's sporting here. And the tail is a much sort of choppier, shorter look than uh, what the character typically sports uh, in the episode. And the uh, the mane here has quite a lot of loft to it. It's I think the mane itself probably measures about six inches. So uh, Coloratura is about 14 inches from hoof to head. And including the, the mane, it brings her up to about 20 inches. So she is definitely, uh, she definitely has some height to her. And she also has these, um, these little ear piercings here. So she's got these two metal studs and this little metal ring. And I really love the shape of Coloratra's uh, eyebrows or eyelids, how they're sort of flattened at the top, I guess sort of to make it look like maybe they're false eyelashes. Um, but it's a really cool look and it's got that really sort of thick black sort of punk rock vibe to it. And she also has her cutie mark here, which is a yellow star, which is encircled by five different colored musical notes. And you can see her mane and tail are made from three different colors of Shannon Minky. And it's sort of a white, a light lavender purple, and a deeper purple. Very much true to the character. And actually, well, the entire thing, I should say, is made from Minky, other than the, um, the little coat here. So uh, Shannon Minky is a very soft, uh, very pleasant-to-touch fabric. It's usually one of the most... Um, coveted fabrics it seems for plush makers of My Little Pony plushies in particular and let me also show you she has the artist's signature on her back hoof here so there's a little horseshoe embroidered on that with a G for the artist's first name and uh, I'll make sure to leave a link to the artist's DeviantArt and I believe she has an Instagram account as well and an Etsy shop, so she does still continue to make My Little Pony plushies even to this day. Uh, not as frequently as she did in the past, but she still 
is creating and is still active so definitely give her a look if you're interested um, she does incredible work uh, as you've seen from not just from this pony but the ones I've shown previously and ones that I intend to show in the future so that is my punk rock coloratura hope you guys enjoyed seeing her and thank you so much for watching bye everybody